Is it better to be feared or respected? And I say, is it too much to ask for both? Mike from 907 Outdoor Adventures and this morning I'm gonna do a little video and be taking my Titan apart so I can clean the magnet <clears throat> and the cover and I'll show you how to do that the way I do it um, works for me it allows the longevity of the magnet in my opinion so um, I'm gonna start taking it apart and we'll go from there so I don't know if you can see this, but I fill the bolt hole where the screw is with silicone. So when I go to take it apart, I don't have to dig all that out. I just dig the silicone out and it's pretty much clean. So I'll just take a small little screwdriver and just dig the silicone out. It takes a little bit to work, but it's definitely worth it when you go to take it apart. Just a little tip and trick that I use to keep the the head of the bolt clean and you can see it just pops out so once I get the, the plug out silicone plug and I'll heat it up enough to loosen up the thread locker a little bit Depends on how much thread locker you use, it could be more difficult than, than not. But as long as you take your time with it and work with it, you should be fine. Again, this is just the way I do it. Totally up to you. And then this is my OG Titan. I've had it about two years a little over two years now and the bolt head is a P3 you can either take a P3 screwdriver and another screwdriver to put in the eyelet but I like to use an impact in reverse it's a little easier to hold that way and then put the other screwdriver in the eyelet The eyelet comes right off. It may be a little warm. Get some gloves or a glove. And the bolt and eyelet is now out. Make sure you keep your tools away from the magnet because it will attach to it. And I gotta get this flat washer off of here. So I got the flat washer, the lock washer, the bolt, and the eyelet. So now that that's off, 
Now this is a plastic cover that I made, ABS plastic. I've been using this cover for almost two years now. It's got its scrapes, dings, but it has never cracked on me. And I'll continue to use this until I find something better. And actually I'm working on something now. So, um, once you got the eyelet out, you can tell it's a little rusty inside there. That's why I clean them every, every so often. After every five or six trips out, I'll take it all apart and I'll clean it. So next is get the magnet out of the cover. Now this, again, it's plastic, so it should be fairly easy. But I do take and I put some silicone around the edge here just to prevent any water getting inside. So I'm going to take my little screwdriver, I'm going to get what silicone I can out, and then I'll come back and we'll take the magnet out of the cover. So I've got a little pick here, and I just take it around the edge. It is magnetic, so you just got to be careful with it. But I'm digging all the silicone out from the, the edge between the magnet and the cover. Again, it, just something that I do just to help keep water out. Once I get this out, then I'll come back and we'll get the cover out. All right, so I've got silicone from out the edge or around the edge between the magnet and the cover. And I'll just take a rubber mallet and I'll just kind of tap it on the sides toward the bottom of the cover. And you can see it just pops right out. And you can see it's a little dirty. So with this cover, I can wash it with soap and water, Windex, whatever, and I'll do that later. So with the magnet, you can tell it's been used. Got a little bit of surface rust, but I'll show you how I prevent some of that when I get it all cleaned up. I use this actual dryer ducting tape and I'll put it around the side the, the sides all the way around and then I'll put it on the top of the magnet just a water deterrent just to keep it um, from rusting as much as I can uh, again I, I take them apart every five or after every five or six outings so now I'm gonna clean this up and uh, once I get all the tape off, then I'll come back and I'll show you that part. So I just wanted to show you the tape coming off. Again, it doesn't take very long, but it is a process. At least I make it a process. That's just me. Again, I'm a firm believer if you take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you. It may take a little bit more time um, out of your day, but if it saves you 200 bucks for a new magnet, then it's, it's worth it in my opinion. So I'm going to get the, the rest of this dryer ducting tape off and then I'll show you how I clean it. Alright, so I've got all the tape off. The silver um, ducting tape. And you see some of, I mean it's two years old. The original protectant, you know, it's, it's going to come off. So what I do next, I just take some regular duct tape. 
and I try to get as much of the fine particles off as I can. And you can see, works pretty well. Been doing this for a couple years, so. I've got plenty of duct tape laying around. But it, you can see it gets pretty dirty. You can probably take a wire brush and get a lot of it off. I just take my time and get off as much as I can. Again, you can see how much dirt and grime and rust is on there. And you're going to go through some duct tape, but you know, it's not that expensive. So I'll get the majority of this off, and then I'll come back and show you the next step that I do. Alright, I've got most of the grime and dirt off of it, rust. What I like to use is alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and just simple paper towel. And I'll just wipe it down. Some people use WD-40, and that's fine, but I just prefer to use alcohol. So when I go to put this tape back on there's no oily residue and this may take a little while as you can see it's <clears throat> pretty dirty so I'll I'll spend 10 to 15 minutes just wiping it down and then I'll take these pipe cleaners and they are metal it's it's metallic and I'll clean out the hole and get all the rust out of that. I think I got these at Harbor Freight for you know, a couple bucks, four or five bucks, something like that. They come in a pack, I don't know, there's five or six in them, different sizes. So I'll just go and I'll just clean the hole out. as best I can. And I'll continue to clean it. So I'll come back once I got, uh, once I'm ready to put the tape on. All right, so I've got, got it pretty clean. Again, you're not gonna get every single thing off of it, but I, I like using alcohol, it leaves no residue, it dries quick, so, and then, then you see there's not much left that's coming off. This one does have the stainless steel plate on the bottom, so my next step is I'm going to take this silver dryer ducting tape and I'll put all the way around the sides and then I'll, I've got a couple of shorter pieces to put on the top. It is a little wider than the magnet so I just take my little razor blade and I'll trim around the top. You just got to be careful when you do that because razor blades are sharp of course obviously. So let's say I'll come back once I have the tape on. Again, this is two year old OG Titan. It's been used quite a bit. Pulled up a lot of stuff with this magnet. Again, I've, I've got a few dings in it. There's one like right there. And there's a couple along the bottom here before I put the plate on. 
but other than that still a strong magnet it's in great shape again firm believer you take care of your equipment it'll take care of you so I will come back once I got the tape on so just want to show you how I do the tape on the sides I'll just take a strip and I'll just work it all the way around get as smooth as possible you're gonna have a few wrinkles here and there We'll just work it in little by little. Doesn't have to be super perfect. Again, nobody's going to see it. It just helps protect it from water, rust. Again, my opinion, just something that I like to do. Once you get to the other side, try not to overlap it too much. That way it fits back in the cover. Nice and smooth. So I'll just, just kind of score it with my razor blade very carefully so I don't get cut and I'll smooth it out again it is a little wider than the magnet but I'll go ahead and trim that off and I'll come back so found it's a little easier to use like a box cutter with a longer blade I can just put it on top of the magnet and just go around the edge and just take it off. And I'll smooth that out. And looks pretty good. Again, just to protect it from water, rust, anything to prolong the, the life of the magnet. I think it's worth it. Now I'm going to put two strips on the, the top. Again, I don't have a wide enough piece to go completely over. And then I'll cut out the hole for the bolt. Alright, got the tape on the top. Now I'm just taking my blade and trimming it off. Just letting it run along the side. Smooth everything out. And then I'll trim out the hole. tape does get sticky as you can see almost looks like a brand new magnet 
again it's just something I do for uh, longevity to the magnet and just just helps it prolong it prolong the life so I can use it for many years to come but we're not done I still have to clean the cover this is the third cover I made uh, I've tested it. the first couple was a test and this is what I came up with so I'm gonna wash this up and uh, get it back to looking halfway decent and then I'll put the the magnet back in it put some thread lock and then I'll use uh, some clear silicone to put in a bolt hole so it keeps water out of that and keeps it clean and I'll do it around the between the magnet and the, the cover just a very thin thin line of it but we'll get to that one other thing that I like to do um, with the bolt and the eyelet you know the eyelet still has thread locker in it so I like to take my bolt and I'll, I'll run run the threads and it will the it still will be tight because of the thread locker is still on the threads inside the eyelet so I'll I'll take my time and I'll run it through a few times brush it off with a wire brush that way there's no residue left of the old thread locker I don't know if you guys can see that but just running it through the eyelet that far pulled out a lot of the the old thread locker so I'll just take a little wire brush and I'll clean it off and I'll do that three or four or five times and I'll get it all cleaned up and I'll clean off the washers as well and kind of clean out the eyelet and the threads as, as best as I can to speed up the process I can use my impact or you can use a drill too just kind of speeds it up I don't know if you guys can see that or not Just got to hold on to it. Or you can use a regular screwdriver. Totally up to you. But I'll wipe this down with alcohol as well. That way there's no residue. And we'll go from there all right get the cover all clean I actually took some sandpaper and kind of smoothed it out a little bit but now she's clean uh, one thing I do want to mention is the head of the bolt sometimes gets those little burrs on there so what I'll do is I'll take a flat file And I'll just file those down. Until it's smooth. Just something I do. Not that you have to, but just something I, I prefer to do. So when I go put the screwdriver back in, it doesn't, doesn't slip as much. And this bolt is over two years old, so it's it's held its life up for sure. But I've cleaned the bolt, 
and I'm going to wipe it down with some alcohol as well. And then we'll get to putting this Titan back together. I just wipe everything down just so it's clean. And there's not any residue on anything. I'll wipe the little washers down. The lock washer and the flat washer. Alright, so I got those clean. Now we're going to put it back on. Right, slides right in. I just got to push it down a little bit. I like the plastic covers just because it, it's easier to take off. The original cover for this Titan was aluminum. And it did okay. And I was waiting on a stainless steel one, and I ended up making my own. And it's worked out great for me for two years now. Almost two years. So, put the bolt back in. And then the flat washer. And... The lock washer and I have some thread locker it doesn't take very much just a couple drops around the threads And you can put the eyelet back on. I like to twist it on, twist it almost all the way off, just so it seats around the threads of the bolt. And then I'll take my screwdriver, and then sometimes I may take my little impact here just give it a couple of torques and I'll get another screwdriver it doesn't have to be super tight because that thread lock is going to do its job. should be good enough. Again, doesn't have to be super tight. And wait 24 hours before you can use it. I usually set mine upside down like that. And again, it's on there. I like the threads to be sticking up just a little bit. But this thicker, this cover is a little thicker than 
the original aluminum one and or the stainless steel one. And then uh, I like taking the silicone and I'll put it in the The, the hole so it just prevents water and dirt and grime and rust and pieces of metal uh, getting down in there and I'll just take like a popsicle stick and I kind of push it down in there just so it, it hits everything Now this takes a little a little longer to dry, but in my opinion it's worth it in at the end of the day, especially when you're you're cleaning it out. Now I'll let that dry for a couple days. I normally do this when I'm not going out for a while, but I do have other titans I could use if I really wanted to go out. And then I'll take that, and I'll show you guys in a minute once I get this this thin bead along the outer edge of the magnet. You can see the hole is filled with the silicone and I'll just take my finger and just kind of rub that outer edge kind of push it in between the magnet and the, the cover it can get kind of messy but again if it prevents water to get you know, in the magnet or on the magnet and damage it over time then uh, it's definitely worth it to me. So, and I'll let that set for a good day or so, and then I'll come back later once it dries, and I'll, I'll scrape off the excess with my razor blade. But that's how I clean my magnets. Uh, clamps are a little different. That's a, another ball of wax with those. I have taken my Orion apart one time. And I don't know if I'll do it again. But these, you know, with, with my plastic cover, you know, it's, it's fairly easy to do. If you had, a, again, a, a stainless steel cover, which is magnetic, it, it, it's going to be more difficult to, to remove that cover. It can be done. I've done it once. Um, but it can be done. But again, this is just Mike's way of cleaning magnets. Uh, it's the way I do it. I haven't had any issues and it's, it's done me well so far. And So, let that dry and scrape off the excess once it's dry and I'm ready to go magnet fishing.